Hello friends, welcome back. Now we are going to learn the basic proportionality theorem. In short, you can call it as a BPT. When you want to give reason, you can simply write by BPT, that is the Basic Proportionality Theorem. Now what this Basic Proportionality Theorem says? This is very simple to understand. Suppose we have a triangle and there is one line which is parallel to one of the side of the triangle. Let us say this is the line which is parallel to the base. This is triangle ABC and this is PQ. PQ is parallel to BC. Then the basic proportionality theorem says that this PQ divides these two sides in proportion. Okay. So in this case your AP upon PB is equal to AQ upon QC. And the converse is also true. That means if AP upon PB is equal to AQ upon QC, in that case this PQ must be parallel to BC. This is the basic proportionality theorem. Now we have to learn the applications of the basic proportionality theorem that is BPT. So the first application is for the three parallel lines. That means if these are three parallel lines and these are the transversals. Let us name the points AB, PQ and RT. If these three are the parallel lines, I am not shown the arrows, you have to show the arrow if you have to explain this application. If these three lines are parallel to each other and these two are the transversals, then this application says that AP upon PR is equal to BQ upon QT. So here I can say that AP upon PR is equal to BQ upon QT. Of course the converse is also true if AP upon PR is equal to BQ upon QT, then these three lines are parallel. This is also called as a property of intercepts by three parallel lines. One more application we are going to see, that is the property of an angle bisector of a triangle. Suppose we have this triangle, triangle ABC and suppose this is a angle bisector. Let it intersect the BC in the point T. Suppose this line is the angle bisector of angle A. Then the property of angle bisector says that BT upon TC is equal to AB upon AC. Of course, the converse is also true. If BT upon TC is equal to AB upon AC, then AT must be the angle bisector of angle A. So these three properties just now we have learned, very simple properties. And based on this, we are going to solve the exercise 1.2. In exercise 1.2, very simple uh, problems are there. We have to use the these two properties that is the angle bisector properties then the basic proportionality theorem that we have to use and we have to use the property of intercepts by three parallel lines. So let us go to uh, exercise 1.2. Thank you very much.